Welcome back, YouTube. Now, where we left off, we're just talking to Harant Babel. Um, he agreed to sing a dirge or funeral for Tamlin. Now, we're going to go in some more of the Dalish history. Did elves ever live in caves? I've never heard of such a thing. But really not. In the days of ancient Arlatha, we lived free and spread far across the continent. We were as varied as the Shemling, though fewer in number. Perhaps some of us lived in caves then, but all knowledge from that era is lost. What do you know about Dark Swan? Only that they eat living flesh and lurk in underground tunnels, once ruled by the Durgenlen, the dwarves. In the last blight long ago, the Grey Wardens all but wiped them out. Should they return, all races will shudder. I'd like to know more about our history. Now that's something I rarely hear. Of course. Tell me about Arath... Arathian. Ah, yes. The Lost City. I know, I just mispronounced before that. Before the Shemlin enslaved us, even before they came to this part of the world, our people lived in glorious Arlathan. Legends say that our ancestors were immortal and we possessed magic the Shemlin could only dream of. Do you know how books record our history? When the humans enslaved us, they took away our language, our history, and our immortality. We quickened for the pace of life and retained nothing of ourselves. We were slaves for so long that even when we became free, there was little for us to recover. If books still exist, I do not know of them. Why do the Shens allow us to exist if they hate us so much? Perhaps they have no choice. Dalish clans are scattered to the winds and rarely gather, which makes us difficult for any organized effort to destroy. And why bother? We have nothing they want. No land, no treasure. And we always move on, allowing no one to grow too angry with us. Some might see this as cowardly, but we are proud. We are the last, and we will survive. What happened to the elves who didn't join the Dalish? They remain in human cities, forgetting all they once had. We call them flat ears, but they differ little from their Shemlin masters. A few may return, but we must accept that they know nothing of the lore or why we keep it. Do you think we'll ever find another homeland? We can hope to find a new home one day, where the Dalish and the flat ears will build a land greater even than our Latin. We shall teach the Flaviers the lore they lost, and perhaps they will teach us to understand the Shemlin at last. That is the only way we shall truly live in peace. I think that's all. Thank you. Then I'm sure you have much to do, unless you've other questions. I should go. Of course. May the gods guide your path, Galen. Now, let's go back to the Keeper, which is somewhere over here. Oh, there she is. And we're find out what we are going to do. Your keeper and I have spoken, and we've come to an arrangement that concerns you. My order is in need of help. You are in need of a cure. When I leave, Sounds I like a win-win situation to me. You would make an excellent grey woman. Me? A grey warden? This is madness. Actually, no, I don't want to say that. I would be honored, but how did this come about? The dark spawn came courses through your veins. That you recovered at all is remarkable. But eventually the taint will sicken and kill you, or worse. The Grey Wardens can prevent that. But it means joining us. Will I be able to return to my clan? We do not know. But we could not watch you suffer. The Grey Warden offers you a way to survive. This is not simply charity on my part. I would not offer this if I did not think you had the makings of a Grey Warden. Let me be clear. You will likely never return here. We go to fight the Darkspawn, a battle that will take us far from your clan. But we need you and others like you. I'm honored by your offer. A great army of darkspawn gathers in the south. 
A new blight threatens the land. We cannot outrun this storm. Long ago, the Dalish agreed to aid the Grey Wardens against the blight should that day arrive. You must honor that agreement. It breaks my heart to send you away. As it would to watch you die slowly from this sickness. This is your duty and your salvation. Then I accept this privilege, Duncan, if you'll have me. I welcome you to the Order. It is rare to have a Danish amongst us, but they have always served with distinction. I know you do your clan proud, darling. Take this ring. It is your heritage, and will protect you against the darkness to come. A valuable gift. So, are you ready to go? Hello? Yeah. And say your farewells, and let us be off. We have much ground to cover. Come then, darling. Before the creators guide you from us, let your clan embrace you one last time. Excuse me for the big quietness. I, I had a phone call I had taken. King riding with the fabled great wardens against the tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. But I must go before Logan sends out a search party. 
Farewell, Grey Wardens. And you just met King Kalen, who is actually a pretty cool character, but personally, I think he's a bit of an idiot. What the king said is true. They won several battles against the darkspawn here. He didn't seem to take the darkspawn very seriously. True. Despite the victory so far, the darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an arch demon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feelings. Why not? He seems to regard the Wardens highly. Yes, not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes our legend alone makes him invulnerable. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can, and look to Terran Logain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. What do you mean, what ritual? Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining in order to become a Grey Warden. The joining is what will cure you of the suffering your tainted blood surely brings you. If it had been possible, I would have done it before now. Why is this ritual so secret? The joining is dangerous. I cannot speak more of it except to say that you will learn all in good time. Until then, you must trust that what is done is necessary. Am I the only recruit you have? No, there are two other recruits here already. They've been waiting for us to arrive. Why didn't you tell me about this here before? It is a secret, and it is not a simple antidote. The joining is what will make you a Grey Warden. Well, that sounds wonderful, doesn't it? Wonderful, well, let's get this over with then. Feel free to explore the cap here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you are ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to. Until next time, you two.